Healthy food can taste amazing, and without all those mind-altering, taste bud-stimulating chemicals commonly found in processed foods. You've seen it on our show before. Healthy dishes delivered by some of the best chefs in the profession. Dishes that you too can make. Dishes that we teach you to make at home. Yes, you might have to change a few habits, learn a few recipes, learn about good food. But most importantly, learn how good, good food can be. Sometimes I wish I could offer you a taste, <laughs> but for that, you have to dig in yourself and get your own hands dirty. We'll be here for you, however, every step of the way. So let us fire up the stove, tie on the old apron, and see what good cooking with Chef Lou Schwartz can be. Hello everyone, I now have my apron on, so we're going to be doing some cooking. Good healthy cooking as usual. Here with Chef Lou Schwartz from Classic Cooking Academy. Classic Cooking Academy. Great. Yes. So we love cooking healthy and you're going to show us some more healthy foods. Yep, we're going to do a uh, chilled uh, quinoa and goat cheese salad today. Quinoa. 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 I've probably it's seen it, but I didn't yeah, know what it was. A lot of people see it in the stores, they're afraid to buy it because they don't know what it is. So exactly. uh, quinoa, we, it's, a, it's a grain. It actually comes uh, from South America. The ancient Incans uh, used to eat this as a staple in their diet. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see here, this is the, uh, the multicolored uh, white, red, and uh, black version. Uh, today we're going to be using the uh, plain white version that we have okay. right here, which you can find readily available Any in the uh, grocery store. Just uh, aesthetically, you know, just okay. uh, that's the only difference really. So and It's it really, great. really healthy. Why, what makes it so healthy? It has all the essential uh, amino acids that mm -hmm. you need. Uh, it's the highest uh, protein value in any grain that the, you can find out there on the market. Uh, I was saying uh, that uh, NASA is actually uh, using this as a, as a superfood and, and super using food. it in their, in their uh, space uh, program. We've talked about a few of those before. Exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. great. Exactly. So this is a, a so wonderful. Great. Well, it sounds good. It looks like couscous, but it's not. It's it looks better like than couscous. couscous. It cooks a little different than couscous, but it tastes, uh, right? tastes better too. And it's, a, like I said, a Love lot it. more uh, value uh, as far as your health is cool. concerned. So, so what do you want me to do? Uh, well, going. I'm going to have you pour in a few tablespoons of uh, extra virgin olive okay. oil into that pot right there. I'm going to start One, by slicing off two. some garlic. How's that look? Is that enough? Ooh. That's good. That's nice and hot. I want to pull that to the side there. Yeah. It's, that's okay. We don't want to. Yeah, that's a little bit on the warm side. Yeah. So, so take it off the side. So you want to put it on a medium low heat. That's a medium high heat, but that's okay. We're not gonna we're not gonna judge. Look, we're trying here. We're gonna yeah. <laughs> Holy moly! You can see that uh, we're cooking we're cooking in this kitchen. So it's a little warm. That's yeah. okay. We're gonna let that cool just touch. Then we're gonna throw in our garlic here. Okay. And we're just gonna sweat that off. Like I said, it's usually on a medium low heat. This is a medium high heat. Uh, we'll it's it starting till. to toast a little bit there. So we're gonna add in our quinoa. It's oh, wow. It went that fast. Holy moly. It went that fast. So you quinoa. Stir? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, quinoa is gonna toast in there just a little bit. We're gonna add a little salt, and we're using kosher salt. A little bit of fresh, uh, fresh cracked uh, black pepper. Mm, we like all of it. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Good stuff. So that's working. Sounds I have good. a few. So this sprays. is roasting. Toasting. 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 Okay. We're gonna actually finish it in the oven eventually. Uh, we'll so get is to it that better point. in the oven. <clears throat> it's easier in the oven. It's uh, kind of one of those. Put it in the oven and uh, forget about it until the timer goes off. I like that. Yeah, exactly <laughs> it. So we're uh, we're going as easy as uh, as possible to make this. Fresh thyme, like I said, just oh. a few uh, sprigs of uh, fresh thyme in there. Fresh stuff. Fresh stuff. So as that is uh, toasting off, and it's just about there, okay. we have a little bit of water, and you can use chicken stock or vegetable stock, whichever one Ooh, you decide give to flavor. go. flavor. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So, and we're good to go. We're right. going to pour that right into there. Keep stirring, right? Keep stirring. Once it comes to a boil, we can take that off the heat and pop it into a preheated 350 degree oven uh, for 16 minutes. We're just gonna cover that before it goes in. Or you can do it stovetop, but like I said, it's a lot easier just to pop it in the oven, set the timer sounds, and forget about it. reasonable. Exactly. <laughs> you put it exactly. in the oven, leave it, don't exactly. have to worry about and, it. And your busy lifestyle, you don't have time to kind of keep it, your eye on the on the right. pot, and you know, so it's just much easier. So we don't want this instant. I think you and I talked about that yes. before we, we came Yes, we don't on. want anything instant. Instant is uh, not uh, as far as nutrition. It's just they, it they strip everything, everything out. out. Exactly yeah. it. So, like I'm said, that's going to come to a boil. What is it, a uh, watch pot never boils? Uh, yeah, well, don't watch <laughs> it. 
turn your back and walk away from it. It'll go. We turn the heat up on that this time and uh, it'll boil uh, real okay, quick. Okay, you don't need me to stir anymore. No, we're good. So we actually have right. a little bit of it already done so we can kind of just okay. turn that off. Anyway, once it comes out of the oven, the best way to do it to cool it quickly is what we did here. We mm -hmm. spread it across the plate, spread it equally out, nice and thin, and um, you can see the, all the beautiful thyme and the, and the, the fresh garlic well, in good. there. It's a very tasty stuff. So. We're going to take this and you're going to get the, some of the salad over there. All right. And I got uh, some julienne of celery right here. So we're just going to dice this up small. And we're going to add right? this into, yep, toss that up a little bit. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in a second. Mm -hmm. Little, uh, see, it's always fun here. here always something little to salt, do. little pepper in there. All right. I trust you. I'll get you some lemon. <laughs> little do they know. Little do they know, yes. We'll find see, out See, shortly. the problem is I'll put a lot of pepper in it. Little uh, extra virgin olive oil in there. Little, uh, just give that nice squeeze of uh, lemon olive into oil there. first. So it's a natural kind of healthy vinaigrette. Okay. Yeah, little, uh, go ahead. Keep going. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Be very Don't afraid. Don't be afraid. You're good. You're good. Okay. See, he's got to watch me. <laughs> There you go. Squeeze that lemon right on into there. The whole there. thing, right? The whole thing. All right. Now we're talking. There you go. There you get the whole thing. So that's why I wear this. Look at this. It's all over it. me. It gets, uh, it gets everywhere. That's right. Well, you have to enjoy your food. That's it. <laughs> you got to put a little bit of you in everything you that's do, true. right? <laughs> I like that. Way to go, Chef Lewis. <laughs> so, green onion. We got uh, some red awesome. bell pepper here. Same thing. We're just going to kind of julienne this. Okay. And it's all natural. It's uh, uncooked, so it's got that nice raw vegetable flavor. And we've talked about that, raw foods. It's, it's a lot better it, uh, for you. Exactly. You exactly. Know. And if you can buy locally, that's the best way to support everybody local farmers. Everybody says buy organic. Don't You don't need to necessarily buy organic. Just buy local. Uh, that's the best way Because most organic has less, you know, I, I would hope so, less pesticides, I think. Right. And... Uh, Plus, you're supporting the local farmers. Exactly. You're so. keeping the money inside of your community, and that's the best way to do it right there. So, color. got great color in there. You want to grab a little bit more of the extra virgin olive oil? Okay. And uh, give me a little Toss spritz in, in there. Yeah, a little right. bit in there. Come in that's good. That's good. <laughs> we can always add a little bit. All more. right. It's easier to add more than to take away. So, goat oh. cheese is in there. Good. Got some sliced almonds. We're going to nice. toss that all together. So if you want to grab the uh, the plate behind me, because now my okay. hands are all nice and wonderfully messy. All right. And you take your mixed greens. All right. If you haven't already, toss <laughs> it up by hand. I've been tossing it. There you go. There's a joke there to be you made all about tossing salad. But anyway. <laughs> you want it around the rim? Yeah, just around the outside. Make it look, in, you know, Yep, right into there. Yep, yep. Just get it oh, all it onto good. the plate. Looks very good. And you can serve this kind of a family style like what we're going to do here. Good thing I like salad. We all love salad. <laughs> all right. So, then we're just going to put this right in the middle here. And of course, we can always garnish it. A uh -huh. little bit of a uh, fresh chopped green onion if we want to. Ooh, um, that would be good. Which is what we will have right here. All right, so, we'll just take the green, here. take the green right here. Just kind of put a quick chop on this. I'm not that fast. That's okay. That comes with experience. Yes. <laughs> you want to keep your fingers back and never take your eyes off of what you're doing. Ever. Ah ha ha. Yes. <laughs> Love when there you do go. that. So, little garnish right mm -hmm. there. What Done. What else can we do to it? A little bit of a, uh, you want to add a little bit more mm -hmm. almonds. Wonderful. Like I said, you can serve this with uh, some fresh grilled uh, chicken. Mm. Uh, pan seared salmon would be excellent with this. That sounds uh, good. Yeah, anything you want to add on to this. Right now we have a really great vegetarian dish. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, you can add any, any type of protein. That looks good. It's awesome. That looks very good. Beautiful summer, uh, spring, wow. summertime dish. Uh, like I said, local fresh greens and you're good okay, to go. Cruise, you know, same thing, their mouth is watering. But I yeah. get to taste it first. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, let me try this. Well, uh, Chef go. Lou, again, the uh, Classic Cooking Academy. Thank and uh, if they want to know this and other recipes, they can go to? They can go to my website at uh, www.loopdeloo.com. Loopdeloo.com. Yes, sir.
Can't forget that one. Dig in. That is good. It's good. Better than couscous. Couscous, however you say it. That nice, Thanks, toasty guys. flavor. It's wonderful. Oh, man, it is good. It's very good. Mm.